Here's how to install HeapCL. Let's install it on the Mac first. We'll cover Windows installation in about 30 seconds. Step one is to download the software. All right, now just go in and double click on it and unzip it. Move it to the Applications folder. Step two is to set the path. This is so you can use HeapCL from any directory. I have an article about this in the knowledge base, and I never remember this command, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste it. That's it, let's cover Windows. Just like the Mac, the first step is to download the software. Unlike the Mac, you have a decision to make. If you have Python installed, you can download the source. This will allow you to modify PCL. However, I don't have Python installed. I just want it to work, so I'm just going to download the compiled version. If you're unsure about which version you want, this is the version you should download. Okay, now just open the file and copy the folder onto your drive. I'm going to copy directly onto the C drive and rename it HeapCL. Now just like the Mac, I'm going to set that path. It's a little different on Windows, it's basically a setting instead of something you type into the terminal. So it's your My Computer's Properties, Advanced tab, and Environmental Variables. The variable I want to set is called Path, and I installed HeapCL on the C drive, so that's the path I'm going to enter. Now it's time to configure HeapCL. HeapCL basically works by communicating with Heap's webhook, but just by downloading the software, HeapCL has no idea where that is, so you need to set this setting. Note that you will only need to set this once, and the setting is per user account. Okay, back on the Mac, step one is to get my webhook. That's easy, just go to the help section of your Heap account, select integration, and copy the URL. Now in the terminal, type heapcl dash dash webhook equals, put a quote and paste in the webhook, then place the second quote around it. That's it, the webhook is now saved. If you want to change the webhook later, you'd run the same command. Let's do the same thing on Windows. Again, let's get the webhook. Now that's copied. Open the command prompt and type heapcl webhook, put a quote around it. And there you go. You'll notice that this process of installing the webhook is identical on both Mac and Windows. This is intentional. HeapCL is a single program written for all operating systems. So if you can do something on one platform, you can do it on all other platforms. There you go, HeapCL is installed, you're ready to get automating.